My liposuction fat transfer appointment coming up. I'm so nervous to talk about that. I talked about it a few weeks ago with the fat transfer. They take sections of fat that you just cannot get rid of at all. No matter what, I still have areas on my body that just store fat and that's normal. They suction that fat out and then they move it to wherever you like. I love where I'm at right here. So we're going to be putting it into my butt. <laughs> kind of getting like a natural bbl almost we're putting it in my little hip dip that i have just gonna give it that little bit of fluff just in the area that i indent i'm all about all across the board your body your choice whatever makes you feel good do it my surgery is happening on may 27th i'm going in to get blood work done i'm going to this place called alpha med there it is Yay! That was so easy! They're gonna have the provider come in and talk to me. I don't know how this all works. I'm just going with the flow. I just went to Crucante Tacos. I know the owners there and they're awesome people. And they just got on diners, drive-ins, dives. Still don't know how to freaking say it. I just had some tacos and I'm still hungry. So I'm stopping at Flower Child to get some food. I'm going into AJ's for some dessert. The lemon bar, yeah. I like going to AJ's and getting their fruit tarts. That's usually what I would get, but they're out. I'm gonna get my flower child, head home, and watch Vanderpump Rules and gorge. I'm doing a little office tour today. And I've tried the at-home office thing and I don't think it's working. And I've been playing around with it at home. I got a desk, a chair. I'm realizing I need a little bit more structure. <laughs> And I haven't even been at home the entire time. I still have my office over in Scottsdale until the end of this month. I need to get out of the house, have an office space. It is made for work. You're at office. I have purse. You are at the office. <laughs> and then you come home. This spot also has a coffee shop inside. Coffee. Cute. Let's see the outside a little bit. Oh, this is already so much better. Yummy. All right, let's do it. I have no idea like where I am. Where the f am I? I'm up in here, that way. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know where I'm going. What the? F well, the coffee's really good, but I need an I need a window. Oh, you do I'm need going a, window. a little crazy okay. over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, just so much better already. This is great. Yeah. There's Camelback. Love it. Yeah, I like this. Okay, cool. Well, that was one of the easiest decisions I've ever made. Yeah, I'm going to take that office. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's a fitness center here. I think I'm going to sign that um, today. The lease doesn't start until the end of May. I'm going to have to deal with it in my apartment for a month. That's okay. As long as I get a window dude I, i'm actually going to take you to my current office right now so you can see the difference there's a huge difference this is where my current office is it's over here at scottsdale galleria it's really pretty there's plants everywhere it's very big there is a coffee shop here which is nice their coffee is actually really good too lots of like open area elevators are really pretty too kind of gives me like a new york vibe i really like it but i never use this i never ever use this keep this in mind now we're gonna go into my office space and you need a key to get into everything again it's another common area there's a little kitchenette lots of booths and tables over there too and then my office is back this way it's a fucking maze Mm, yeah, I'm pretty far down there. Okay, light. There we go. This is my office. There's no window, so there's no natural light in here. It is a bit bigger than the other one, but there's huge windows that everybody can just look into. So I put a curtain up because I was like, privacy. Every time someone would walk by, they're like, stare it in. Hi. I don't want to look at you. It came with all the furniture. You were able to pick the furniture you want. So I got a little couch. This is my attempt at making it look cute. <laughs> I was going to put shelving, decided not to. I had this stuff kind of just sitting in here, so I decided to put that up. That's not really my vibe, but whatever. It came with this. I did get a mini fridge, so that's mine. And then it came with the desk and the everything else. This is my little office. I need to be in the sun. I need to see like what's going on outside. Cannot be just locked in this room anymore. So I think that's what it came down to overall. Realizing that it's not that I need to work from home. It's that I need to find a good workspace that's going to accommodate like the needs. I'm back in downtown Phoenix. I love being down here. I told you guys I want to live down here so bad. I'm about to go get some lunch at this new dumpling spot. It was called Love Sack and then they had to change their name for legal reasons. So now it's called Love Bite. 
I've never been down the sidewalk. I've been in this area so many times. Have you guys heard of Novel Ice Cream? It's over on Grand Avenue, not too far from here. The owner is creating a coffee shop and he wanted to be a part of the coffee pass that I have. We just had a meeting with him. I have not eaten a thing today. And that's it right there. So cute. Oh, look it. <laughs> Good, how are you guys? Oh my gosh, it's up, it's running. That's so cute. This is Lightheart Coffee. They're also part of the Arizona Coffee Pass. They're doing a little collaboration today with Love Bite. It's basically an iced latte with macadamia nut milk, but we keg it Ooh. and infuse it with nitrogen, so it makes it very smooth and creamy. That looks delicious. I forgot to show me eating it. I devoured it. That's why I love downtown, because I walked up, I immediately saw people I knew. I'm sitting there having lunch with all of them, and then I see more people walking down the street, and I'm like, oh, hey, we all just, like, collectively hung out for, like, an hour. That is why I love downtown. Everyone's just so kind, everybody knows each other, and if you don't know them, they're more than welcoming, and they want to get to know you. And I mentioned the coffee shop passport, so those of you that don't know about it, it's a digital passport that I created. It has nine different coffee shops located within the passport, and they're all located, like, throughout Phoenix. When you are a pass holder, you get a free pastry, coffee, tea, whatever it says that you get is what you get. And the reason I created it is to help support local business and then also to bring you guys more in an interactive experience to the things that I love to go do while supporting local. That's why I created it. I have that in the description below. If you guys ever have interest, you can just check there. I'm going to Mountain Shadows. I have no plans. I asked my friend Bob, you guys know Bob. He's 75. I met him when I was walking on the street over in my like dream neighborhood. He came up to me and he's like, what are you doing? Are you manifesting your home? I sure as hell I am. And we just became friends. So now we go get coffee together, get little croissants. He might meet me for breakfast tomorrow morning. I'm taking a video. Do you want to be in it? No. Okay. I'm at breakfast with Bob at Mountain Shadows. Hey! Oh, you do? Wanna... <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> There's not many places that do it this well. Mm -hmm. And when you go out for breakfast, a lot of even the better quality breakfast restaurants, you get foil packets of butter and foil packets of jam. The presentation here is amazing between the fruit cup being in a real bowl instead of a plastic ramekin, the kosher salt, and everything is just very well done. That's all I got I to agree. say about that. I agree. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour of the room I have. Keep this in mind. Almost all of the rooms look the same, and I know that because I've been here so many times and I've always been in a different room. So what you see is most likely the room you're gonna get when you come as well. The shower is beautiful, very open. They also have curtains over here if you wanted to like bring it over, not be so exposed. The bed is so comfy, I love the bed. I was actually here when they shot that, so I know her. <laughs> And I know him. <laughs> I was supposed to be an extra in that, but they didn't need me that day, so whatever. I got the garden view. Let's see here, it's open. And it looks like there's a wedding going on today too. We can see Camelback right there. And then the pool is on the other side. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, awesome. Enjoy. Awesome, day. thank you. Mountain Shadows, where I'm at right now, was one of my first hotel clients ever. And the reason I got it was because originally, I kept trying to reach out to them, and this was years ago. This is like seven years ago, when I first was trying to get like into hotels and resorts and like have them as like a client. And every time I reached out, they would ignore me. Finally, after like persistence, they finally were like, you know what, we'll give you a room for one night and we'll see what you can do. And now they're my ongoing client and I freaking love it. With that said, if you guys ever wanna stay here, I have a discount code. It is for 15% off your entire stay. The code is SWS, 15% off your stay, a room upgrade and a welcome amenity. It may be a cocktail or it may be um, some treats. Look at that. Is that milk? Oh no, that's sugar. That's so cute. I've never had this before. We were just at the pool for a few hours. Look what's right outside of my room. There's a wedding going on right now. What are we gonna do? We're gonna watch it. <laughs> Some dinner now. They have an on-site restaurant called Hearth 61. I think we're gonna sit outside. It's nice outside. Boop. We got beet salad, charcuterie, an old fashioned, and this is the view. This is the tenderloin, looks delicious.
Honestly, I haven't been filming too much because I kind of took this weekend as a way to get off my phone and not work. Being around my phone just, it makes me feel like I'm working all the time. So I kind of didn't film that much. I'm leaving the property this morning. And before I leave, I do want to show you guys more of the property that I'm on. I was in the lower level and just outside of that is the pool area. There's a juice bar and a gym up there. Beautiful view of Camelback Mountain right there. And then here's the first pool area. So over here is like the second little pool area. There's the restaurant. So that's where I was getting breakfast and all that stuff. And then that's the full view right there. But now I'm going to take you guys back over towards the inside, like the restaurant area. This is where Bob and I were sitting yesterday having breakfast. There's patio seating over there. There's the inside restaurant. This is like the little indoor bar, outdoor. And then over there is the restaurant area. Um, it's called Hearth 61. You guys can definitely come here and eat and have drinks and even hang out at the pool if you want. This is the view when you first walk in. So here's the lobby and then the view. You go down the hall this way and then we go over here. They have a golf course, but I forgot it's like short golf. I, I don't play golf, so I don't know. But they have a golf course and they have a restaurant. So they got all this over here too. Yeah, you can rent golf stuff. And, Go play the short course. Ah, that's what it's called, a short course. So we were just over there, coming up to like the Camelback Overlook. That, I think that's my room. This is where the wedding was. Pool's over there. We came around, went to the restaurant, came through, came through the back, and now we made a loop. And this is called the Lookout. So you can have like parties and stuff up here if you want. And that's Camelback. <gasps> you guys know I'm going to have a Supai Falls. I've been kind of training for it. So I needed some new shoes. I love Saucony. I've always worn Saucony. I think that they are the best grippable hiking shoe. But then again, I've worn them so much that I've actually never tried any other shoes. I like them a lot. See that grip? It's so hard to fall because it's so grippy. So I'm gonna probably try these out this week. But I did buy another pair to compare. One of the styles, I forgot which one it is. I don't like it. Got two different styles to make sure I'm getting the right one. Here we go. You can see that this is a different version of it. This doesn't have like the Versafoam on it. I, th I really think it's the Versafoam that I like the most. We're gonna try both of these out. We're gonna go try Via Della Pizza. It's in downtown Phoenix. I've, I don't know the guy's name off Barstool Sports, but he gave this a very high rating. Ooh, here it is. Let's do it. This is the Phoenix and the spicy sausage. That looks so freaking delicious. We just split it in half. Got some ranch. That one. I ordered some Chop Shop. I got this aloe vera drink. It's supposed to have rehydrate you. This is a kid PB and J. And then I got this as well. I'm having a little bit of a dilemma right now. I feel like I've been going out a little too much lately. For example, going into this year, I didn't drink or anything for an entire two months. I did that because I was like, I just want to start the new year fresh. I don't want to like feel like this, like I am today. And that was my goal. Going into festival season, Innings Fest, M3F, all of those festivals in a row, I knew I was going to be partying. And I did. And it was fun. I don't usually drink on the weekday. I've been going like ham on the weekends and it's getting to a point where yes i'm having fun but i'm noticing that my productivity and the way i feel on monday it's kind of digressing i don't like that you guys want to do this with me and we can hold each other accountable i was thinking we're not gonna drink for two weeks if you guys want to message me and give me some ideas of activities or mocktails or fun yeah fun mocktail bars fun sober activities to do trampoline parks literally like i'm so down for all of it all right i'm gonna go ahead and eat and get to editing this vlog. Thank you guys always for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you want. I would love that. And I will see you guys next week.